Good morning. Morning prayer begins on page 75 of the Book of Common Prayer or in the PDF file that can be found on our website at holytrinityfay.org. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Watch, for you know not when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or at the cock crow, or in the morning, lest he come suddenly and find you asleep. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our liturgy continues this morning with the Jubilate, found on page 82 of the Book of Common Prayer or in your PDF file. Let us pray it together. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The Psalms appointed for this morning are Psalms 5 and 6, beginning on page 588 of the Book of Common Prayer, or may be found in the PDF file. We will read them in unison. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Hearken to my cry for help, my King and my God, for I make my prayer to you. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. Early in the morning, I make my appeal and watch for you. For you are not a God who takes pleasure in wickedness, in evil cannot dwell with you. Braggarts cannot stand in your sight. You hate all those who work wickedness. You destroy those who speak lies, the bloodthirsty and deceitful, O Lord, you abhor. But as for me, through the greatness of your mercy, I will go into your house. I will bow down before your holy temple in all of you. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness, because of those who lie in wait for me. Make your way straight before me. For there is no truth in their mouth, there is destruction in in their heart. Their throat is an open grave. They flatter with their tongue. Declare them guilty, O God. Let them fall because of their schemes. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. But all who take refuge in you will be glad. They will sing out their joy forever. You will shelter them so that those who love your name may exalt in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. You will defend them with your favor as with a shield. Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not punish me in your wrath. Have pity on me, Lord, for I am weak. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are racked. My spirit shakes with terror. How long, O Lord, how long? Turn, O Lord, and deliver me. Save me for your mercy's sake. For in death no one remembers you, and who will give you thanks in the grave? I grow weary because of my groaning. Every night I drench my bed and flood my couch with tears. 
my eyes are wasted with grief and worn away because of all my enemies. Depart from me, all evildoers, for the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies shall be confounded and quake with fear. They shall turn back and suddenly be put to shame. A reading from the book of Isaiah. How the faithful city has become a whore. She that was full of justice, righteousness, lodged in her, but now murderers. Your silver has become dross. Your wine is mixed with water. Your princes are rebe rebels and companions of thieves. Everyone loves a bribe and runs after gifts. They do not defend the orphan, and the widow's cause does not come before them. Therefore, says the sovereign, the Lord of hosts, the mighty one of Israel, Ah, I will pour out my wrath on my enemies and avenge myself on my foes. I will turn my hand against you. I will smelt away your dross as the lie and remove all your alloy. And I will rescue your judges as at the first and your counselors as at the beginning. Afterward, you shall be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. Zion shall be redeemed by justice and those in her who repent by righteousness. But rebels and sinners shall be destroyed together and those who forsake the Lord shall be consumed. For you shall be ashamed of the oaks in which you delighted. You shall be blush for the gardens that you have chosen. For you shall be like an oak whose leaves wither and like a garden without water. The strong shall become like tinder, and their work like a spark. They and their work shall burn together, with no one to quench them. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our liturgy continues with Canticle 13 of Song of Praise, found on page 90 of the Book of Common Prayer, or in your PDF file. Let us pray. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple. On the throne of your majesty, glory to you. Glory to you, seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven, Glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. You yourselves know, brothers and sisters, that our coming to you was not in vain. But though we had already suffered and been shamefully mistreated in Philippi, as you know, we had courage in our God to declare to you the gospel of God in spite of great opposition. For our appeal does not spring from deceit or impure motives or trickery, but just as we have been approved by God to be entrusted with the message of the gospel, even so we speak not to please mortals, but to please God who tests our hearts. As you know, and as God is our witness, we never came with words of flattery or with a pretext for greed, nor did we seek praise from mortals, whether from you or from others, though we might have made demands as apostles of Christ. But we were gentle among you, like a nurse tenderly caring for her own children. So deeply do we care for you that we are determined to share with you not only the gospel of God, but also our own selves, because you have become very dear to us. You remember our labor and toil, brothers and sisters. We worked night and day so that we might not burden any of you while we proclaim to you the gospel of God. You are witnesses, and God also, 
how pure, upright, and blameless our conduct was toward you believers. As you know, we dealt with each one of you like a father with his children, urging and encouraging you and pleading that you lead a life worthy of God who calls you into his own kingdom and glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join me for Canticle 18, A Song to the Lamb, found on page 93 of the Book of Common Prayer or in your PDF file. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God, for you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb, be worshiped and praised, dominion and splendor forever and forevermore. Amen. We'll continue with the Apostles' Creed found on page 96 of the Book of Common Prayer. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our liturgy continues with suffrages B, beginning on page 98 of the Book of Common Prayer. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy upon us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your spirit upon all flesh. And hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite your prayers of thanksgiving or intercession, either aloud or holy silence of your hearts. Please join me for the general thanksgiving found on page 101 of the Book of Common Prayer or in your PDF file. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and for all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. 
and we pray. Give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives. By giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.